step back in time to a simpler era, where the gentle strums of a guitar mingle with the soothing rhythms of small town life. Close your eyes for a moment and let your mind wander to that first encounter with The Andy Griffith Show, a black and white portal to the idyllic world of Maybury. Do you remember the anticipation, the curiosity, as you embarked on this journey to a place where troubles seemed distant and laughter echoed through the streets? Perhaps it was Andy's wise yet unassuming Sheriff Taylor who first captured your heart, his folksy wisdom and unwavering moral compass guiding the quaint community. Or maybe it was the mischievous grin of Deputy Barney Fife, a character so endearingly earnest in his attempts to enforce the law that you couldn't help but chuckle. And who could forget little Opie, his innocence a reminder of childhood's unfettered joy. As you reminisce, certain scenes flash by like treasured postcards in your memory. The courthouse gatherings where quirky townsfolk exchanged banter and gossip, painting a vivid portrait of a tight-knit town. And oh, the slow, golden sunsets over the fishing hole, where Andy and Oppie's bonding moments became your own. Now, let's journey deeper into the world of Mayberry, unearthing random nuggets of trivia that add layers to your understanding of this beloved show. Did you know that the iconic whistled theme, etching itself into your mind, was composed by Earl Hagen? Or that Don Knotts, the mastermind behind Barney Fife, initially signed on for only five episodes, unaware that his legacy would forever be etched in television history? So, settle in as we unravel more of these fascinating tidbits that make The Andy Griffith Show a timeless classic, capturing hearts across generations. Allow the nostalgia to envelop you, mingling with newfound insights to deepen your appreciation. 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 The Andy Griffith Show, a beloved 1960 TV series, originated as a spin-off of The Danny Thomas Show. Set in the fictional town of Maybury, the show follows the life of Sheriff Andy Taylor, played by Andy Griffith, as he navigates the everyday challenges of law enforcement, family, and community. The series is characterized by its wholesome humor, strong moral values, and emphasis on small town dynamics. The show's iconic characters include Deputy Barney Fife, portrayed by Don Knotts, whose well-intentioned but often misguided actions provided much of the comedic relief. The father-son dynamic between Andy and his son Opai, played by Ron Howard, highlighted life lessons and heartwarming moments. The ensemble cast contributed to the show's charm, with Aunt B, Floyd the Barber, and Gomer Pyle adding depth to the Maybury community. The unique style of the Andy Griffith show lies in its portrayal of an idyllic, simpler time. It presented a contrast to the more tumultuous aspects of the 1960s, offering viewers a nostalgic escape into a close-knit world where problems were resolved with kindness and humor. The show's themes of friendship, integrity, and empathy resonated with audiences, making it a classic example of family-friendly television. The impact of the show on popular culture is undeniable. It established a blueprint for future sitcoms, influencing storytelling techniques and character dynamics. Maybury became a symbol of Americana, and Andy Griffith's portrayal of a wise and patient father figure left a lasting impression. The show's legacy extended through reruns, DVDs, and streaming services, ensuring new generations could experience its timeless appeal. Random facts about the show, the whistled theme song, The Fish and Hole, is instantly recognizable and contributes to the show's warm atmosphere. Andy Griffith's real-life background in comedy and music informed his performance, and the show's overall tone. Don Knotts' portrayal of Barney Fife earned him multiple Emmy Awards and solidified his status as a comedic legend. In summary, The Andy Griffith Show remains a cherished series that encapsulates the essence of small-town life, values, and humor. Its iconic characters, unique style, and enduring impact on popular culture make it a true television classic. 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 Barney Fife's army stint guarding knowledge on Staten Island in an early episode of The Andy Griffith Show. The quirky and lovable character Barney Fife revealed an unexpected facet of his past. During his time in the army, Barney found himself stationed on Staten Island with a peculiar yet crucial duty, safeguarding a collection of over 3,000 books. This revelation offers a unique glimpse into Barney's character, showcasing his unlikely role as a protector of knowledge. Barney's assignment on Staten Island sheds light on his commitment to duty, even if the duty itself was less conventional. While his bumbling nature often led to comedic situations in the fictional town of Maybury, this revelation underscores the show's knack for infusing its characters with depth and unexpected backstory. 
The episode not only adds a layer of complexity to Barney's persona, but also reflects the show's ability to balance humor with moments of genuine insight. It's these nuanced elements that have contributed to the enduring appeal of The Andy Griffith Show. Ranked among the greatest TV dads in the realm of iconic TV fathers, Andy Taylor from The Andy Griffith Show stands tall. The character, portrayed by the talented Andy Griffith, secured his place in television history by earning the impressive rank of eight on TV Guide's prestigious list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. This distinction is a testament to the show's impact and the lasting impression of Andy Taylor's paternal wisdom and warmth. Andy's portrayal as a single father and a wise, approachable figure in the fictional town of Maybury resonated with audiences. His gentle yet firm guidance provided a moral compass for both the characters within the show and the viewers who tuned in each week. This recognition solidifies Andy Taylor's status as a beloved TV dad whose influence extends beyond the screen. Barney's comedic catchphrase, suck in that gut. One of the defining aspects of the Andy Griffith show was Barney Fife's knack for finding humor in the everyday. Among his repertoire of comedic lines, one recurring catchphrase stands out, suck in that gut. Whenever Barney placed individuals in the jail cells, his enthusiastic instruction to suck in that gut became a lighthearted running joke. This recurring gag highlighted Barney's quirky personality and his often overzealous approach to maintaining order in Maybury. It's these playful interactions that contributed to the show's charm and enduring popularity. Barney's unique brand of policing, paired with his memorable catchphrase, remains an integral part of the show's legacy. The Andy Griffith Show continues to be celebrated for its timeless humor, relatable characters, and insightful storytelling. From unexpected military duties to heartfelt portrayals of fatherhood and lighthearted catchphrases, the show's legacy endures, captivating new generations of viewers and reminding us of the power of genuine, character-driven television. Unveiling the unspoken evolution of credits in the Andy Griffith show in the quaint town of Maybury, where Sheriff Andy Taylor and his son Opie captivated audiences, an intriguing transformation quietly unfolded behind the scenes. The Andy Griffith Show, a beloved 1960 TV series, held a captivating secret in its opening credits. During its earlier seasons, viewers were greeted with a distinctive auditory ritual. A poised announcer lent his voice to the cast member names, an unseen guide introducing the denizens of Maybury. The names resonated through the airwaves, ingraining themselves in the collective memory of the show's enthusiasts. However, as time marched on, an enigmatic shift occurred. The resonant vocal credits faded away, making space for a visual revelation. The cast member names, once spoken aloud, now adorned the screen like cherished pieces of a puzzle. This evolution mirrored the show's subtle transition, preserving its core while embracing the winds of change. The Andy Griffith show wasn't merely a place, it became a vessel for innovation. As audiences strolled down Maybury's memory lane, they bore witness to the unspoken metamorphosis of credits, an evolution that spoke volumes about the show's adaptability. While we cherish the nostalgic symphony of the verbal credits, the visual names etched a different kind of impression. The journey from spoken to seen was an emblem of television's ever-shifting landscape, a testament to the show's ability to harmonize with the tempo of the times. As we bask in the glow of classic TV, let us not forget the silent crescendo of change that unfolded within the Andy Griffith show. The spoken names may have faded, but their echoes resonate through the annals of television history. Unveiling the enigmatic map of Cincinnati in the Andy Griffith Show in the quaint town of Maybury, where simplicity met charm, the Andy Griffith Show etched its indelible mark on television history. Debuting in October 1960, the series transported viewers to a realm where humor, camaraderie, and life's gentle nuances converged. Yet, amidst the idyllic backdrop, a subtle curiosity lay hidden, a map of Cincinnati, oh. Behind the desk of the amiable Sheriff Andy Taylor, an inconspicuous prop adorned the wall, a map that puzzled ardent fans for years. Long believed to depict the contours of Idaho, this cartographic oddity held a secret. It was an inverted portrayal of Cincinnati. The city known for its riveting tales wasn't Maybury's geographical inspiration, but an urban expanse hundreds of miles away. This enigmatic choice wasn't happenstance. The map's placement offered an unspoken nod to the show's producer, Danny Thomas, whose production company crafted The Andy Griffith Show. 
The characters of Andy and Opie had earlier graced the screen on The Danny Thomas Show. Danny meets Andy Griffith in February 1960. Furthermore, Frances Bavier, destined to become the beloved Aunt Bee, made her initial appearance as Harriet Perkins. A tapestry of connections wove these shows together, adding depth to the narrative. As viewers tuned in week after week, they remained oblivious to the geographical riddle behind Andy's desk. It wasn't until years later that the truth surfaced, adding another layer to the endearing tapestry of the Andy Griffith show. A simple map, hanging upside down, bore the essence of Cincinnati, while Maybury's fictional charm continued to captivate hearts. In the grand tapestry of television history, the Andy Griffith show remains a treasured piece. Beyond its witty anecdotes and heartfelt moments, the choice of that peculiar map underscores the show's intricate craftsmanship. A map meant to guide Sheriff Taylor became a symbol of concealed connections, weaving the fictional and the factual into an inseparable bond. And so, behind the amiable sheriff's desk, the map of Cincinnati remained, a testament to the uncharted depths that reside beneath even the most serene facades. Butts, 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 butts. As we bid adieu to our journey through the heartwarming landscapes of Maybury, let's take a moment to let the essence of the Andy Griffith show settle within us. Just as the sun dips below the horizon, casting a warm glow over that iconic fishing hole, let's remember the simplicity of life it captured so beautifully. The gentle wisdom of Sheriff Andy Taylor, the mischievous charm of Barney Fife, the soothing notes of the whistled theme, they all reside in the corridors of memory, don't they? Those moments of laughter and lessons shared on black and white screens, they are not just celluloid, but threads woven into the fabric of our own stories. Perhaps it's Aunt Bee's apple pie recipe that makes your heart skip a beat, or Oppie's innocent yet profound observations that still resonate. Maybe, just maybe, you've found yourself humming that familiar tune while walking down a serene lane, feeling like you're part of Maybury yourself. In this fast-paced world, where troubles come in high definition, the Andy Griffith Show offers us a portal to a simpler time, reminding us that life's greatest joys often lie in the simplest gestures and the warmest connections. So, dear friend, whether you're revisiting the show or discovering it for the first time, I invite you to share your thoughts, your cherished memories, and the moments that have stayed with you. Your connection with this timeless series is a testament to its enduring magic. Thank you for taking this stroll down memory lane with me. Your time and interest are treasures we've shared, and I can't wait to hear your stories. Until then, keep whistling that tune and embracing the Maybury spirit. Warmly, 